Hey there, bestie. I'm Lori Ami, your What to Read Next podcast host. Join me as we dive into exciting new reads that'll have you reaching for your TBR pile in no time. From group and mysteries to spicy romances, we'll explore it all and help you find your next favorite book. So grab a cup of tea, cozy it up, and let's discover some amazing reads together. Hi, Charity. Welcome to What's Your Next Podcast. All right. Thank you for having me. So happy to have you here. Tell us a little about yourself. I write romance. Yeah. My I kind of hop around. So for a while, I was in my small town romance genre, and I wrote two theories in that. And then I think I was like, okay, I've written so much small town. I feel like I need, because I ended up getting a bad case of writer's block. Yeah. And I was like, I need something different. I think my mind just needs something different. So I went on a limb and was like, I have this new idea for a book. I'm going to see if I can write it. I'm not going to make anything official. I'm not going to make a release date. Just see where I run with it. And that's what led me to writing Mafia now. So I wrote one series and then now I'm on a spinoff of that series. So my second series. So I kind of hop between Small Town and Mafia. Right. So let's talk about small town. Where do readers get to get started with you for in that area? In that so I started with my Blue Beach series, which is one of my more popular ones. So that started with Just a Flame. And then the Blue Beach series, then I did a spinoff from that, which is the Twisted Fox series. So, but all of my books are standalone. So you could start at book two just one night and not feel like you're left in the dark or you don't know what's going on so every book that I have is a standalone so you can start anywhere if you're like okay not a big surprise pregnancy person but I love enemies to lovers then if you grab just neighbors which is an enemy to lovers you won't feel lost because you had read the first two books yeah. so that's one thing I always try to do because I know so many people are picky in their tropes that if you don't like this then you can still read from books in the series or possibly try i had a lot of readers who were small town and they had never really got into mafia and so here i was like i know i've given you all of these small town books but like take this road with me and so i've had a lot of readers who have said i never really read mafia before but you opened that door for me so now I, you know, hop between both or now I read a little bit more Mafia. Yeah. So the Mafia you have in the first series, the one that broke the runner's block, what was the series? Oh, it was the series name. That was the Marchetti Mafia series. So the first book in that is Gorgeous Monster. And I woke up one morning and I don't know, I PA'd or PA'd. I voice matched to my PA and I was, I told her, I just have this idea and I don't know if it's going to carry out, but I had one scene in my head, the prologue. And I was like, this prologue, it's in my head. I don't know if it's going to go anywhere, but let's try it out. And she's been with me for years. So she like, okay, let's try it out. And then it ended up just going into more of a series. Yeah. And so then we have Simple Sacrifice, which is your latest book in the series, which we start off with the heroine walking in to pay her dad's debt and walking into the lion's den. What is the elevator pitch? Because it just gets, it just goes from there. It's like domino effect. <laughs> yeah. So I, what is a great pitch for this? So really it's, she's wa- walking into the lion's den and she doesn't know what exactly she's walking into. She knows my dad owes all this debt. I don't have enough money to pay for it because they didn't have all of it. And so she knows it could go one or two ways. They be nice, which really isn't that common in the mafia world. You pay your debts or they could be not so nice. And so she goes in there thinking she's going to get either one. And she ends up not meeting the person that she's supposed to meet. So she meets Damien, who is kind of like a little below that he's like a capo. So 
he be has he takes an interest in her immediately and one line is he's like you don't have enough money you know to pay what would you say if I wanted you instead and she's like you're nuts and so he has her leave with him and takes her to her apartment and he sees she's a dancer and she does ballet and so he just takes a seat on the couch and he's like I'll wipe off the rest of your father's debt if you dance for me so that is kind of where it starts where she's like I can dance for him and there goes that down and she says something like he's going to be disappointed when he sees the nutcracker number that I did during Christmas and that dance the simple dance to lead into more and then create the chaos that is the relationship but Damien isn't as if you read because simple sacrifice is spin-off of the Marchetti. So the Marchetti is three books and then you have Simple Sacrifice. It's a spinoff of that. But if you read Gorgeous Monster and they are very ruthless. There is very little sweetness to them. I mean, granted, as they start to fall in love, they start. But he's softer than some of my other mafia men. Like, he's still crazy. He's still batshit crazy. But he's a little softer. <laughs> the least I'd say some of the reviews have said too. So maybe this is a good intro and then you go into a little darker, you go back to more shaddies for a little bit darker, you know, harder, more up um that's down yeah. the here. <laughs> it's still very touch her and die vibe yes. because there is touch her and die yes. in there. <laughs> and then there's twist and turns and all of that good stuff. Yeah. Oh, I love this. I love this. I read Simple Sacrifice and I loved it. And I was like, oh, I can go back to it. And then you told me you have Small Town, which is even better because that's like my palate cleanser. It's like I do some dark stuff, get triggered, and then I go back to Small Town and just <laughs> you know, get triggered. To, 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 to be like, it's soft landing. I'm like, it's going to be okay. Don't no matter what. Just... It's going to be like a cutesy homework with spots. It's all good. <laughs> And then they're like, oh, that's kind of how I went with writing. I was like, I've had sweet, I've had sweet. I, okay, now time to go a little bit darker. Yeah. So what can we expect for you in the next couple of months? So I have book two, Simple Ruin, up on pre-order right now. So that's going to be my next release. And I plan to have about three to four more books in that series. And then I'm going back and forth with whether I want to you know, go back into small town. It, I am, a, like I said, a sub genre helper. Yeah. So it's really hard for me because if I'm not into something, I can't write it. Yeah. And so in my mind, if you see all my drafts, I'm like, oh, I think I'm going to do a sports romance, but then I think I'm going to do another small town, but then I think I'm going to do another <laughs> mafia. So I have all of these drafts on my computer and it's just what you said is I read a dark, so now maybe I need to go back to the small town. So my mind is like, okay, what are you into right now that you want to write? And I kind of just go from there. Yeah, I love it. I know it's like sometimes it's hard for marketing purposes. They're like, but I expect you one way. The reality is that as someone who has like multi-passion, multi-interest, I like hopping around. Like I don't like to be so called to one figure, one box, because it's like, but I have all the interest. Like, so yeah. I'm just going to explore the dark side. Sometimes I want to explore the small town. Sometimes I just want to explore some like sports romance or go crazy and go see a monster or an alien. <laughs> yeah. I'm the same reader wife too. I pop and I'm yeah. like, okay, I think I want to cry today. Yeah. Or I think I want to like madness today. Yeah. <laughs> so let's chat some book recommendations. Do you have any books to recommend to our listeners to pick up? So I look at the form. I put it into that because that will always be one of my favorite. I think with it ends with us. I know that's a popular one, but there's any book that I ever remember. There's a fear that I'm like, I remember the second that I ended that book. So when I finished it ends with us, I was meeting in the bathtub and I was like sobbing in the bathtub because I went in blind and I didn't know. I, have you read it into the yeah, so. yeah and so you d- went going in blind and it was years ago yeah. before yep you know it was talked about more online so I just went in blind thinking I was like gonna get this great HEA and then I was like 
what the hell just happened? <laughs> yeah. And so that was a book that I will always remember how I felt at the end of that book and how just emotional it had me. So I think that is a really good one. Robin Lee's The Idea of You. I have not watched the movie because I'm so mad. <laughs> yeah. That how mad I was when the book ended. The book ends. I don't want to give it away, but the way that the book ends, I was up until four in the morning reading yeah. that book and it ended and I wanted to throw my Kindle across the room yeah. because we control. Yeah. And so that is another one that I always write the bronze horseman. Yep. I don't know. You read that one? I have read and I've heard about it. It's been all over the place in early years. Not now. It's not as popular. I wish it was like a book yeah. called Darling, you know, because it will get the, but it, I, when I started reading, I remember hearing it, but I was like, okay, I'm just going to read this. And it's just so good. It's a commitment. I started buddy reading with someone on it when I first read it and they were like, in this <laughs> for yeah. me. But it is, it's a long book, but once you get the flow, but once you yeah. get into it, you're like, you can't put it down. And that one is, it was talked about years ago. And I think that's when I read it. A lot of my book reads were maybe older books because yeah. I had time to read a lot more than what I have time to read now. Yeah. So that is another one that I am, it's a commitment, but it is a great story it's slow burn it's emotional it's angsty so that's another one that i read amy Harmon, a different blue yeah hands down one of my favorite books she is just her writing there's just something about amy's writing that is just so good and it just pulls you into the story i mean a different blue doesn't even really have spice in it Normally, I like spice, but just the way the the story carries and the backstory is so different. That's one of my favorites, too. These are great recommendations. So I have a recommendation for you. It's a novella. If you like the idea of you and you're like mad about the ending, as we all are, it's called Big Fan. It comes out in a couple of weeks. It's it's by Adsuna Romanoff. It's a novella about a boy man's here. He's older. He's in. The, he, there's no age gap here. But he, she's a political strategist, like they call Olivia Pope kind of deal. And she, okay. had, yeah, no, she was like married to like a S- Kennedy family, and she had a political scandal. She has this very big life, and she's working on it. And she, he, they both are featured though. And he finally reaches out. He's like, "Hey, I would like you to work for me because I'm gonna go on my solo career." And she's like what do you need me for and somehow it goes in this world in romance it's so good it's like a grown-up hairstyles like best way really yeah so what is it called again it's big fan big fan okay i'll have to make yeah one of that yeah it's a novella so it's like you can read it in a couple of sittings like i read it and like it's like i don't know like less than 200 pages oh yeah it's a quick read it's a quick read so you know, like you get in and you get out. It does have an ATA. It does have smudge. It just has all the good stuff that you like. You <laughs> know, the, the wheel like and love. And so well, I just finished reading it. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so good. <laughs> I'll have to try it. Yes. Yeah. Especially novella. Quick reads are nice. Quick reads are like, you know, sometimes you just don't have the time to read mm-hmm. like a long book. Like it's hard to commit to a long book where you're like, I have all these other stuff to do. Oh, so it is understandable. So, Charity, tell us where you can find you online. So, I am on Instagram, and all my handles are pretty much Charity Feral. Instagram is Charity Feral, TikTok, Facebook, all of that. So, those are pretty much all my hashtags. But I'm on your usuals, your Insta, your TikTok, Facebook. Those are my three main ones. But yeah, you can find me on any of those. Perfect. Thank you, Charity, for being on the show. You're welcome. It was nice chatting. Thanks for joining me on this episode of the Watch Read Next podcast. If you enjoy our bookish conversations and want more recommendations, don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an episode. Also, head on over to the Watch Read Next blog for a list of books mentioned in today's show. Happy reading.